Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Delta V Rings of Saturn. I'm Sek, and let's jump right back into this beautiful game. So, what happened last time is we had a very interesting encounter where we kind of... Oh, where we kind of, um, you know... We saw a ship trying to be pull in a drone again, but we couldn't really interact with it. Not in any way that I could see, at least. Hopefully, we are able to do something else. Like, we can find some other interaction with that. But let's just hit into the rings for now. I honestly wouldn't mind having a nice, quiet little dive but it will also be very interesting to see more content come out of this so we'll see oh but it looks like developer definitely did a lot more stabilization issues and the graphics look absolutely spectacular as usual but yeah oh wow it looks a lot more stable actually Thank you very much Dev for making this game much more fun to play, particularly because it's more stable. But uh, let's try this out first. Oh there is something. things a little. Pull it back. Alright, nothing there. I'll head over. This way. Ooh, suddenly the controls seem like they're a lot more responsive. I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. I feel like it's reacting a lot faster. Maybe because the frame and the stability has increased so much. That would be it's kind of crazy. some W in it, which is, I actually still have not researched on what the actual mineral is. I should probably do so eventually, but uh, I'm a little bit lazy when it comes to that, honestly. Doesn't seem very important anyway. chunk of mineral. We're definitely going after that one. And back here again. Yeah, but these suddenly the ship seems like it's a lot more responsive. Maybe that's because we're not playing with the broken ship, as sad as that might sound. But I think Probably right. Ooh, I feel like there's more 
for sound effects as well. I'm not sure about that though. I can't see it for sure. Cover at least some of our monies back because we're no longer insured, which is a very scary proposition, honestly. But yeah, that's right, we're no longer insured, so any damage that we take is coming out of our own paycheck, our own account. Okay, now hold on. Better not be after this mineral. Oh, again, it's the same encounter, isn't it? Like, let's try this again. Can I actually do anything to you? Is this doing anything? That's really kind of the question I'm having here. Because it doesn't seem like I am. I can't tell whether it's actually doing any damage or anything. I do know that it's draining some of my battery though. I wonder what the game thinks I'm doing. Same encounter too. I'm not giving up yet. I mean, I might as well... I don't have anything else to do, right? Like, is this actually doing anything? some Mortal Kombat right now. Doesn't appear so. Can I destroy the drone or something? I'm supposed to be doing a pastoral problem. I mean, it doesn't seem destructible. It's one of my few complaints to the game. It's like, I don't know what I am supposed to do. to see how that actually should go, how that encounter should go. I'm very curious. This is, I mean, what else can I do besides shoot at it, right? But apparently that's not really what you're supposed to be doing, because it's not doing anything. I might be wrong about that. Maybe I just need to shoot it longer, but at the same time, like, it seems just kind of dumb, honestly. Just do that aimlessly for a long time. But I don't know. Maybe it's not aimless? And then, like, what's the point? I 
Like, what's the end result there? Like, how am I supposed to just leave it alone? Help it? Uh, I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea. I have no idea how that interaction is supposed to go down. What I do know though is that what I did didn't seem to do anything. And I don't know whether that's actually correct or not. Like maybe it did do something? I can't honestly can't tell. Uh, let's go look for that other mineral that I mined out in this. Yep. Floating in space. Let's be careful not to bump into anything else though. last one. Of course we dare. We're space miners. Okay. Well, now that our cargo hold is full, I guess we should be heading back. But yeah. Seems like a sensible idea. don't know what I'm supposed to be doing there. Honestly, it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, am I supposed to help them? And if I am, how am I supposed to help them? You know, uh, all these questions are kind of left unanswered. Can I actually destroy it? What happens if I do? I still don't know. Really, I don't. It's kind of frustrating. It really is. But I mean, I guess that's all we can do, right? We can test different things out, and we have. But nothing seemed to work, really. So I'm not sure what we're supposed to do. out of the rings. We should be heading back to the Enkelas. Okay, you know what? We're gonna avoid you. Mm, you're curious, I can tell, but please leave us alone. Thank you. For a second there, I thought something went like deathly wrong, and we were about to get absolutely destroyed. But then, thankfully, it was just us returning to the Enceladus. Enceladus. But yeah. I mean, that was a relatively uneventful episode. So, I, I hope you still enjoyed it though. We had a fairly productive mining friend. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it once again. Subscribe for more daily content. Like the video if you did. And comment down below. Thanks for watching. Uh, next time you see me, I'll probably process all of the materials and all the mineral stuff because I don't want you to keep seeing the game crash. Hopefully it doesn't though. Maybe the stability improvements worked. But anyway, I'll catch you all next time. See ya.